Hello everyone, Nottis Fan here again. We're playing NCAA Football 11 and we're going to play the Road to Glory mode where we're going to create a player and follow him through his college career. So uh, this uh, starts off being hosted by Erin Andrews and um, here we pick the new Road to Glory. We're going to let her uh, tell you what it's all about. Hi, this is Erin Andrews, and I'm going to be doing a series of reports chronicling the life of a student athlete from his senior year in high school all the way to his college graduation. I think you would be the perfect subject for this Road to Glory series. Now, if you're interested, I will follow you throughout your career and file a report every time you reach a major milestone. No good report is complete without some highlights. So if you agree to be the centerpiece of my series, there will be a cameraman taking videos and photos of you at every game. So what do you say? Would you like to put your career on display? Okay, so that's the overview. Now we move in, into actually creating our player here. And uh, it's no secret, um, you know, I'm from the Twin Cities, Minnesota, uh, uh, born and raised here. So I'm going with... Uh, a Minnesota reference here, my player is going to be named uh, Lando Lakes, as in, uh, you know, the land of 10,000 lakes, and also, uh, you know, uh, well, I guess, uh, you know, Lando Lakes uh, uh, dairy products and all that stuff that come right here from Minnesota. So I just thought it would uh, be a fun uh, fun play on this guy's names here, a name here. So uh, he, uh, he indeed is uh, Mr. Lando Lakes. Uh, from my uh, high school, why is that a high school? Uh, so... Uh, He'll he'll play uh, uh, coming out of there uh, to start his career uh, in the high school playoffs. Uh, Why is that a high school? By the way, um, is home of a, a few pros in the uh, last few years in the NFL. You've got uh, Marion Barber with the Cowboys. You've got his brother Dominique, uh, who is a defensive back, also in the league. You've got uh, a, ki a guy I played with personally, uh, Ben Hamilton, a longtime. Uh, offensive lineman with the Broncos, now with the Seahawks. Uh, and uh, don't forget uh, James Laurinaitis, uh, the, the uh, Ohio State standout, uh, also came from my uh, high school in Wyzetta. So anyway, um, we are uh, creating a, a halfback here, although he's going to be more in the mold of a fullback. Um, I'm, I'm kind of envisioning a big old, uh, you know, like Tom Rathman types, uh, type from the uh, 49ers glory days. Uh, that's kind of, I guess, why I went with the 44. Kind of reminded me of Tom Rath in there. Uh, he's going to be a bruiser. Uh, if anything, you know, I'm not going to be the speed back. I'm gonna, I want to be the guy who uh, runs everyone over. So uh, we've created our character here, and we're starting out the road to glory, which will start with the Minnesota State playoffs there. And uh, kind of funny that Wyzetta and Minnetonka actually is a uh, natural rivalry, so we'll uh, play that first. And um, as we lead into the first game of the high school uh, tournament here, um, you'll see here I am at uh, at halfback, or here Lando Lakes is uh, at halfback, and um, you know playing against high school competition, we will uh, you know maybe be able to get out and uh, and run in this open space. But you know in general, I want to build this guy to be the like I said the bruising back, the guy that uh, you're not going to want to tackle 20 times a game, uh, come you know right up the middle and run you over more uh, more than uh, getting outside and, and putting moves on you. So uh, you know you can tell by the, by his uh, by his his uh, body mold here, as he scores a touchdown here and celebrates, um, you know, as you can tell by his mold, you know, he's he he looks like he could be playing the line just as well as uh, as in the backfield. He's got that uh, he's he's got that uh, neck uh, neck race in the back, and uh, you know, just he's ready to hit. So uh, anyway, here I go out in motion and be looking to possibly catch a pass, stop, catch that pass. And uh, get some yardage. So, working on some different things here. Working on catching the ball out of the uh, backfield. Looking at running the ball right at the middle here and <laughs> putting a few moves on. Uh, that's probably something that's not going to be my my game when I hit to college, I would imagine. But uh, hey, you never know. Take the pitch this time. Get outside, and it looks like I'm going to take it down. <laughs> oh, look there! I'm looking for the hit as I go in for the end zone. There. That's 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 my game right there. I want to. I want to punish those guys. I, I not only want to run past them, I want to, I want to punish them on the way. So uh, that's what Mr. Lakes is looking to do. Here he gets a good block and uh, gets a good uh, seven yards on the outside. So looking for uh, to run a route over the middle here, catch it, and uh, just to bulldoze a couple people. 
here we'll uh, look to take a pitch out to the left again here and oh hurdle a guy nice moves hey maybe I do have a few moves so um, oh and a spin and uh, just uh, that's that's unfortunate there stopped at the goal line but uh, I get the ball back again with the chance to uh, get my touchdown and I do um, so uh, you know he's 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 got some moves at least at this level uh, to shake a few people but uh, here we, here we go again uh, out uh, on a route making the catch and another first down so we're uh, we're pretty well taking care of Minnetonka here uh, and it's not even halftime uh, which is always kind of nice uh, <laughs> to see you take out one of your rivals so um, it's it's kind of a cool part they they do the best they can in this mode to um, to you know to simulate real high schools so they, they take you know real city names at least and while some of them might not be in the same um, conferences as you see me uh, take it to the uh, take it the distance here big game for lakes um, and goes and says something to the ref there as, as I unlock an achievement uh, there he goes 15 15 points there anyway oh nice blocks downfield and he's gonna take it again I uh, have to showboating at the end there but I think he has to uh, give some big time credit to his uh, wide receivers there sticking their blocks because that was just uh, way too easy so uh, as we're just uh, you know, into the fourth quarter here, uh, you know, 41-17, game not a doubt. So uh, just kind of trying to, uh, this would be the point I want to punish these guys on the ground, make them not want to be tackling tackling my guy there, and that will uh, be the final there, 41-17. Uh, so so why is that advances uh, in this uh, in this first round here? Uh, I, I don't like that pitch animation you just saw there. Uh, the uh, the player has to react very strangely to a pitch, and I don't understand why it is that. But you know, he's he's got to like kind of twist his whole upper body uh, to to get that pitch, and it just doesn't look very natural there. Uh, you know, especially uh, when you look at the handoffs. You know, the handoffs obviously look much more natural. So I uh, don't know why that is. If that's a glitch, if that's something that'll be uh, you know looked at in a patch, but it just it just looks really strange. So here you go. See, 32 carries for 358 yards and five TDs. Add another 54 reception yards. Um, crazy. And you see some of the scouts that are in attendance there. So uh, at a two star caliber there because uh, we still have some games to play. So anyway, uh, go on to St. Louis Park. Now in real life, St. Louis Park has never been a powerhouse. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't expect to see them in a second round here. It'd be a team you'd, you'd smash in the uh, in the uh, regular season. But uh, I don't know, at least when I was playing. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, like I said, they do the best they can to come up. You know, it's, it's neat. A neat touch to actually see the real uh, school names up there, um, you know, instead of just something that was completely made up. So, uh, you know, colors don't obviously match uh, in real life. St. Louis Park wears, uh, I think, orange and black. So, uh, you know, but, you know, it's kind of nice to see the names at least. Uh, here I'm out uh, catching some more passes here, trying to make some moves. Um, I think I did, um, you know, that first game was absolutely a monster game, and I, th I think I did uh, up the difficulty after that game. Uh, which is why I'm still having a good game here, but it's not going to be um, as incredibly easy as the first one was. Um, you know, I wanted to tone it down a bit, so I believe this is uh, now on Heisman. So uh, I think I was playing All-American below it, and, and I bumped up to Heisman. So anyway, there's another example of that really weird pitch. He's got he's to twist his body back to, to catch it, but uh, doesn't really seem to affect you getting around the corner on that pitch at all just just looks very strange so there's a touchdown we're winning this game big time uh, there's another really weird looking pitch great block by the wide receiver puts this guy on the on the ground there and i'm in uh walking in again these wide receivers on, on this team can block pretty well so 38-3 win for wyzetta uh, they'll move on to the semifinal. and uh as you see my uh the, the there's that big block by the wide receiver let me walk in into the house again but uh, Lando Lakes uh, having another uh, great game, and uh, moving on here, as uh, you know would be expected here as you move through your high school uh, playoff here. So, why is that it gets Moorhead uh, in the semifinal, and this game, uh, as you see, a, yet another weird uh, pitch animation. Uh, this game was tough. This one, um, you know, it did okay uh, personally. You know, ran my routes, uh, made my catches, and, uh, and got some plays in. But uh, this game, uh, team-wise, was uh, 
it was kind of tough here. Here we do have the lead, and we're uh, we're looking for more. You see a 14-7 lead here. As uh, again, I'm into a route here, and I like that. You know, even though they show you where to uh, where to run your route, obviously if your quarterback is struggling, you can break off that route and uh, and run somewhere differently and get yourself open, and, and they'll recognize that from time to time. So there was a br pretty big pass play there. Big gain. Uh, we're into the third quarter here with a 14-point lead, and things are looking good uh, going on into uh, you know trying to make the state final. But on, uh, you'll see the uh, you'll see that that's not the case in the end. Uh, Moorhead comes back, storms back late to uh, rob me of my chance to uh, get to the state final. So I've got to I've got to settle with uh, a semifinal appearance in in a close loss. And uh, that's going to lead me right on up to uh, signing day. So uh, we'll check that out here. So because I did up the difficulty and uh, because I did not make, uh, you know, even make the state final game uh, more or less uh, win it, I'm looking at a lot of uh, backup opportunities uh, coming in my freshman year here. Now, going down the line, of course, if you, you know, as, as you... Uh, find lesser and lesser teams. There's chance. There's like a chance to be a starter at Navy. So what uh, Lando Lakes has to do here is decide, uh, you know, where he wants to play. If he wants to be a starter on a lesser team or work his way up, um, you know, for a middle of the pack uh, team. So come on back and see what he chooses.